Welcome to One on One. I'm Steve Adubato. It is my pleasure to welcome a very distinguished gentleman. He is Kevin Callahan, professor of criminal justice at St. Peter's University and retired New Jersey Superior Court judge. Good to have you, Kevin. Thank you for having me very much, Steve. We were just talking before we got on the air that the field of criminal justice changed dramatically less, f I mean, five to ten years ago. Different, right? Absolutely. How so? It, it's all inclusive. It, people think, well, you're going to be a police officer. Of course, it's that, but it's much more. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we run the gamut of students who want to be lawyers, probation, correction. Uh, they want to be a sociological major at times with a minor. Uh, we have a very large uh, major, one of the largest in the university. Why do you think that is? I think, it, I think there's a lot of people that want to make a, the place a better place to live. And they think, a lot of my students think that becoming involved in the criminal justice system and the diversity that my school brings to mm. that uh, could make for better relations all the way around. And I've seen it over the last eight years I've been there. Uh, we now have many students that are on police departments and uh, state police and also law schools. And as you know, we're a very diverse school. And I think the more that people interact with other people, mm. the more tolerance there is. You know, I've been on your campus many times. Uh, President Gene Kanaki, a good friend, um, He's actually former professor of political science. Yes, started as a professor and has been there for 35 or more years. And I remember lecturing a few years back at the Guarini Institute. Oh, yes. Uh, named after the, the Honorable uh, Congressman Frank Guarini. Gave my start in law. He did? Yes, he did. I mean, I just happened to say that to disclose that I taught there one time. What? When I graduated Seton Hall Law School and I did an internship, um, I'm born and raised in Jersey City, he was not a congressman at the time. It was before that, after he was a senator. Right. And uh, we met. We had met, known each other a little bit. And I was finishing a law clerk wow. uh, internship. And he said, you want to come to my firm? And he gave me my start. I well, stayed with him for over four years. It's interesting how you're talking about uh, giving uh, one his or her start. The internship program that you have gives people the start, if you will, an opportunity to see things they otherwise or experience things they otherwise wouldn't, right? Absolutely. It puts them in the real world. As you know, we're, we're first generation. We have a lot of first generation students. And so uh, they're learning in the classroom with us, obviously, and our experience that we give them professionally from prior uh, histories that we've had. But they don't really experience it from the inside. So with an internship, if a young man wants to be a defense attorney, I may send him to the prosecutor's office or to the public defender's office. If he wants to be um, a lawyer that, uh, those trial work, I'll send him with a trial judge. If he wants well, to be... Well, what do you mean send him to the trial judge? They'd he'll, actually he'll be... intern for the it, law secretary of the trial judge. Will they really uh, oh. get to understand the way a trial works and the role of a... Really? They're sitting next to the judge oh trying God. a murder case. Really? In many cases. Uh, the judges are wonderful. Uh, they actually uh, report directly to the law secretary. They'll go, they'll watch sentencing. They'll sit in the courtroom and watch trials. They'll interact and see how a judge is... is you know the fairness of a judge and how sure. they're uh, trying to make decisions, and they get comfortable in the system. What about police uh, work? Police are work. They the, or is that tough? Uh, no, <clears throat> you know the New Jersey State Police are a wonderful force. We have a couple of interns there, uh, just finished or just starting. Uh, Jersey City Police Department, Elizabeth Police Department, Hudson County Prosecutor's Office, uh, Bayonne Police Department. They all embrace us, mm. and, and our students are wonderful ambassadors. They're learning. And they'll come back more, almost to a person. This is what I want to do. Or you also a situation Well, you know what? I thought I wanted to be in probation, but I really think I like parole better, or I really think I But I'm they get to see it. They're there. They're, they're, they're helping. They're involved. It's not just sitting there watching. They're actually engaged day in, day out. You know, the other thing that's interesting is um, for the people they wind up working for, the employers, are they better because of this? Are the students? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. They're graded. Uh, half of their grade or more is what the site supervisor thinks of their work. Right. And um, although, of course, in criminal justice, you would have to take civil service. You can't be directly hired. If it's we, the government. If it's the government. But we have had students that uh, have been hired uh, by prosecutors, the prosecutor's office. Uh, it has helped them when their resume, I and mean, applying for the state police, is that they intern there. Mm. Uh, and then they sit on their resume. Uh, so it does, it, it makes them 
human to the people that are making these you, decisions. You know, Dr. Kanaki, Gene Kanaki, the president, was with us on, I think it was State of Affairs uh, a few months back, and one of the issues we talked about that I want to ask you about is, is the brain drain. New Jersey losing so many Absolutely. of our students um, to universities and colleges across the nation. They just, they're not here. They, they leave. What are you able to do in the area of criminal justice to keep them here? We, we give them education by people who have lived the life. Retired state trooper, retired uh, head of probation, uh, myself who was on the criminal bench for years. We bring that dynamic plus the educational aspect of it. And they know that most of us mm. are first generation as well. And it, it inspires them to say, you know, I can do this. And that way we sure. supplement it with the real world of an internship and invariably uh, it, it, it really formulates their desire and so, uh, solidifies their desire to sure. do it. Sorry for interrupting. Before I let you out here, uh, you served on the bench, I have to do this. The thing you loved most about being a judge was? Leaving each day feeling that I had done something that changed or shaped a life, be that the defense, the prosecution, the victim, or the defendant. And I was actively involved with trying to do something positive for the system, which without a criminal justice system, we're chaos. And that's rewarding. Well said. Um, Kevin Callahan, professor of criminal justice at St. Peter's University, again, one of our uh, longtime supporters and partners, uh, and retired New Jersey Superior Court judge. Your Honor, thank you. Thank you very much, Steve. Appreciate it. Same here. We'll be back, back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Office of the Insurance Fraud Prosecutor, New Jersey State Nurses Association, and the Institute for Nursing, Johnson & Johnson, the Northward Center, Adler Aphasia Center, Verizon, and by the law firm of Gibbons PC. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.